I call that the red flash transition and today I'll show you exactly how to do it. Make sure to watch the end of the video. I'm gonna provide a lot of extra tips and tricks. I don't want you to miss a thing. Let's get right into it. Okay, starting out, we're in Premiere and per pretty much every single video. We start with just a long base clip, stuff that will grab from this long base clip or video you have, and you'll cut it into shorter, smaller sections. And this is kind of a side note, but the key to editing and making things look better in your edits is finding and pinpointing the coolest parts of your videos, scrapping everything else. That is like the number one most basic tip in editing I can give you to make your videos look better. Forget all this, you know, whatever footage, just cut the coolest parts of your videos. It doesn't matter if you're editing a music video or you're editing footage you film. Half the battle of getting a cool edit is just identifying the coolest parts of your clips. We're gonna go through and we're just gonna cut down about 15 clips out of this video and one thing to note as you do this for this transition we're going to have kind of two sections to this the first two clips will be 10 frames long so have it be some sort of clips that you can kind of use to build up suspense until we get into the flash cuts so two clips that are 10 frames long and then you'll have about nine or ten or really as many short clips as you want those will be three frames each so let's go through you're going to identify the points in your video that are the coolest and we're going to cut them out. So I like this as like a starting clip. So we're just going to cut this. Okay, we're going to get all rid of this. This is just nonsense. We're cutting that out. We don't need that. Um, maybe we want this to cut really quick. So it had to be like a kind of like not really a match cut, but it'll be him in the same shot in a different position. That can be a cool little intro. And now we need to find all of our shorter clips. So I'm going to focus on trying to find very small, short bursts of three frames that have a lot of the movement in them. The more movement you have, the more interesting the shot, especially over a smaller period of time. For example, you're not gonna want to add like a short clip like this because literally nothing is happening in this. It's boring, nobody cares. So we're just gonna cut through this. This could be cool, maybe we wanna do this. Okay, we'll keep it in. Um, and I'm just gonna cut through. We don't need to have it be exactly three frames each right now but we're going to you know this there's nothing going on here drake's not in it we don't need that nobody's going to care about that so here's drake and cut this one two three bam i'm just going to keep going i'm going to cut through this and get back to you when all my cuts are made i'm not going to bore you guys with this but again just just identify the coolest parts of your video it's just as easy as that but before we move on i see remind you guys that we're posting at least one new tutorial every single week so if you want to continue to become a better video editor learn more tips and tricks make sure to subscribe drop a like drop a comment let us know what you want to learn next back to the video i made my cuts these are the clips i'm going to be using again like i mentioned earlier we have these two first clips that we're going to use to build tension and build suspense another key trick to editing is not keeping it so flat so say we just wanted three clips only it just flashes it's boring People are going to swipe off your video. You need to create suspense and you need to create tension by changing the pacing of your editing. It is so key. So we're going to start slow, 10 frames, 10 frames, and then we're going to move into three frames, three frames, three frames, quick flashes, quick flashes. And then we're going to revert back to this end clip. It's probably going to be longer than 10 frames. But again, you'll see you have like this, like it's like this build up kind of, you know, whatever footage. And then it gets to the meat and bones. Bam, 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 bam. Cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff. And then we cool down at the end again. So we have this like bell curve, right? We start slow, go up, fast cuts, fast cuts, slow down, and we chill out. That's what you want to be doing throughout your entire edit. This is good and easy because it's a short form video, but that's you want to have these crescendos in your edits, whether it's a 10 minute long edit or a three second short form click. That's what you need to be doing. So now what we're going to do, our first two clips are already 10 frames long, but we need to cut each of these clips down to three frames only. So again, I'm just going to the very start of our first clip using the keys on my keyboard to go one, two, three, make a cut delete one two three make a cut delete one two three make a cut delete and i'm going to do this for every single clip and skip ahead when i'm done and i'll show you one more trick before we move on to the next part so my clips are cut down and you know we need to close these spaces you can be a bot and click and delete every section or drag your clips in but we don't do that here what we do we select our clips we go to sequence and we go to close gap and that's how you speed up your process. Okay, to recap, this is what our video looks like right now. No effects, just cuts. Pretty boring. Now, what we gotta do, create a new adjustment layer. Okay, 
drag it above your clips, cut it so it's only over the first two clips. Now select it, go to effects, search the levels, add levels to the adjustment layer. Go to effects control, scroll down to where you see white input level, keyframe at 255 at the very start. Go to where these two clips intersect or meet, change the keyframe number to zero. Now you can duplicate the first keyframe, move it all the way to the end of your adjustment layer, or you can just go to the end and type in 255. So that's what this does. Just makes a nice little cool flash effect to prep us to the other quick flashes. That's again, just adding to like that crescendo tension building effect. Now duplicate all of your flash cuts by selecting them all, clicking, hitting option, and dragging up if you're on mask, and it's all if you're on PC. Select the first clip, go to effects controls, go to blend mode, and change it to linear dodge add. Now what you can do is click on every single clip, but we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna click on the clip that we just added that blend mode to. Right click, copy, select all, paste attributes. Okay, so now, very first clip, we're gonna cut this down two frames, but now it's gonna be cutting out one frame for every two frames aside from this first clip. Meaning we cut this top layer down two frames. We're gonna go here, keys on the keyboard, one, two. Cut, one frame. One, two, cut, cut down one frame. One, two, cut, cut down one frame. One, two, cut, cut down one frame. And we're gonna do this for every single clip. And now this is what the video looks like. Much better, but we gotta spice it up some more. So this is the red flash transition. So what do we need? We need some red in here. Go down to this color map. Okay, change the color all the way to this red. And we're gonna drag this new color map on top of our flash clips. And you're gonna click on your color map. You're gonna go to effects controls, change blend mode to darken. I'm guessing your composition is gonna be 16 by nine, but I'm doing a little bit of a smaller aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna crop left and crop right to remove these red borders. But I'm guessing you're probably gonna be in the 16 by nine aspect ratio, so you most likely don't have to worry about this. But because this is Instagram, I just found this format works a little better. So now we have this super cool red effect. Again, dark and blend mode. And we're just gonna cut out so it's so the color mat is only above what we didn't cut out. You can see here we have our white flashes and then we have our red flashes above where there's no white flash. So we're just gonna cut this out and only leave it above what isn't below. So we see this red a little bit, but it's not enough for me. So this brings me to my next point. A lot of people are so stiff when it comes to editing. It's gotta be exactly this keyframe, this keyframe that got it's all about what things look like visually. We want more red, okay, we'll, we'll randomly put some more red in here. Okay, extend this a frame, extend this a frame, maybe extend this a frame too. And now, much more red, much better, and it still looks consistent. Be light with it, be flexible. Nothing stiff about video editing. It's, it's supposed to be loose, it's supposed to be imperfect. Again, just to catch you guys up to speed, here's what it looks like right now. I guess now would also be a good time to mention that I've linked the project file for you below, including everything for you to check out, use this footage for yourself, or just see exactly how I edited. You can play around with it. And the sound effects are included as well, right in the description below, totally straight. All right, and here's another tip. I'm literally just giving it all away today. Make sure to subscribe. Let's talk music. You want trending music? You don't wanna search YouTube. You don't wanna go download it from YouTube. How do you even download it from YouTube? Guys, this is exactly what you do. If you're doing short form content and you want trending music, you don't need to do anything besides go to TikTok, press add like you're gonna create a new video, go to add sound, and below will be like the best trending recommended songs to you. Go there, filter out which one works best for your video. These are trending songs, TikTok recommends it. Oh Jack, how do you download them? That's just screen record. Use a screen recording, the quality comes out completely great, and that's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna drag in my screen recorded song from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> that's way off that is way off that is unacceptable so what you want to do is you want to have this lead up section and you have the quick flash and you want to time the music drop in the song perfectly with when this goes from slow to really fast cuts so we're going to listen to our music and see when that would be 
ideal. Okay, so normally what I would do is say to cut exactly on the bass drop, which would be right here, right there. But here's the thing. These are like kind of quick flashes. So we want to think a bit outside the box. When you listen to it, there's a bass drop. It goes boom, and then it goes din, 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 which matches better with the quick flashes. So we're going to actually bring the bass drop, not directly on the switch itself, but but on the bop after the bass drop. So you can hear bass drop right here. So we're just going to cut that. And then we're going to bring this to that very first clip. It's a lot of and let's see how that plays out. And then we'll just extend it so it takes up the whole song. Oh, and this actually works out perfect because this first cut kind of matches with the actual bass hit. So you'll see. It's a lot of That's perfect. So it's already much better with matching music. It's a lot of we need sound stack scotch. So again, I'm sure you can find these on our Instagram. I usually link them all below for you guys to download. So these are probably included somewhere on Instagram page. Here's our first sound. Sick one. So we're going to drag it here, probably somewhere in this little gap where the sound dies out a bit. That's a lot. And it kind of is the matches not only the flash transition, but also the song. You hear it? Next one, we need like a little flash type thing for this original white flash right here. Let's see what we can come up with. That'll do. So put your playhead right where the two clips air sec where you want the sound effect to occur. And it's really perfect. Now, what you could do, you might add like a gear shift or like a, a lot of camera flashes, but it's not going to work for this. It's just not the vibe. We want it to be, mm, we, want, we want to really feel that energy. So I'm getting like this, this like riser vibe for this rather than using like a gear shift or a clicking sound. And this is what I'm using for that. Pretty sick, right? And actually, this is going to be better off towards the end to end this splash cut off rather than at the beginning because it's a riser. So you're rising to a point. And if you have the riser stop in the middle of your flash cuts, it's not going to work. So we're going to drag this over here and we're going to go to where our last clip ends. This is the longer cut where things start to slow down again. And we're just going to bring this last cut right to that point. So now it sounds like this. <laughs> Now, you know, let's find something to kind of cover up some middle sound effects so it's not as bare before that riser comes in. For that, I'm going to use this sound effect. Pretty cool. And we're just going to drag it in our clips. And again, there's, there's really no formula unless you have a direct place and clip you want it to end. But like for something like this, but there's not like a clear start and end to where you want the sound effect to occur. Just play around with it. Be loose. Be loose. Let your ears and your eyes do all the work. <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's going to be because you want to also match your other sound effects. <laughs> It would start earlier. Actually, that sounds a lot better later on in the clip. So we're actually going to stack the riser and this other sound effect. That's actually much more powerful. All right, let's keep it going. You know what this needs? It needs more of a sound transition between the slow, the slow clip before our first splash cut and the flash. Because there's really nothing there. So. I'm going to bring in this little like tension builder thing. I know what you call it. Pretty cool sound. Drag this at that point. So this is right here. So we kind of want this to be like right there. Beauty. One more. I have this hit. And again, we're going to add the hit to right when our flash cuts first start. Use the playhead to adjust it perfectly. 
I already put that right there. Oh, and I almost, I almost forgot something super important. We can't just leave this last shot with no flash effect, so we're going to duplicate our first adjustment layer. We're going to click on it. We're going to scroll down. We're going to delete our original keyframe that's 255, and we're going to select both of these other keyframes and move it down. So now the initial keyframe is zero, which causes the flash effect to be first and then roll down. So now it's a great way to unwind the video. Instead of it starting at 255, which is just normal and going, it's much more, it's a much more better way to end the clip. We start it. And now we need one more sound effect to do this last flash effect. And I'm just gonna use this little cam splash. It actually sounded really good. So Again, we're going to go use the keys on our keyboard to move the playhead right where the flash is. And now move this last camera flash effect right to that point. And now this is what it looks like. So much better, so much stronger. I hope this helps so you can kind of see my thought process and how I do everything. Now I'm going to continue showing you how to do more effects just like this and continue to teach you to become a better video editor. So make sure you subscribe, check out Mirror Camp, and join our online school for more.